Hello, Pisces. This reading is for you. This is a general message, so please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And yes, you are seeing a right screen at the moment because I have family downstairs and I'm trying to find a quiet place. So, I'm in my room. Okay, Pisces, what do we have for this general message? What advice do we have for Pisces? We have great and full. The number four. We have quieting the mind. And at the bottom we have opening to discovery. So yeah, I feel like you're really tapping into yourself at the moment. Um, Pisces. I feel like you are... Maybe you've started meditating or maybe you're just taking that quiet time that you need to calm your mind. But I feel like during those quiet times, I feel like that you may be receiving downloads. You may be receiving visions. And I think that you should really take notice of those visions. Um, maybe start a dream journal or a meditation journal. To write down your thoughts and feelings during that time. You also have your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. So it could be what I'm feeling is something that you're working on uh, could become very viable, very resourceful in January. You have a balance spirituality and practice practicality full moon in Pisces okay interesting At the bottom you have you're very close to achieving your goal so I feel like you could be at the very end of your journey with something Pisces um, is this a project that you're working on? Is this love? Is this your career? Um, are you just basically working on yourself? And you're finally making those... You're finally making... Your intentions known. Huh. What do we have... We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Four of Swords. And we have the Strength card. Okay, Pisces. Okay, I feel like you're kind of in this stuck energy. That's why I feel like you're taking a lot of alone time. You're currently trying to think things out. But I feel like this thinking may be a little bit overthinking. Um, because... It's making you daydream too much about different possibilities, different options that you can take. And basically, if you work on too many things at once, it's going to leave you in confusion. You're going to stay stagnant. Um, but I feel like whatever this is, you're working hard in this situation. Um, if this is love, career, or just your life in general, I feel like you're working hard. And I feel like you're moving forward in a way that is making you feel a total healing, a total renewness. Is renewness even a word? I don't know, but that's what I was feeling. So we'll go with it. 
um, but I feel like I feel like you're taking a lot of time to yourself um, you're going through the motions and this is actually giving you a lot of renewed hope and it's giving you a lot of power I believe you're very powerful at this moment, Pisces. Even if you don't realize it, you're very powerful. But I still feel like you're caught in your head. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Big changes coming around for you, Pisces. Big changes. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Page of Cups. Could be an air sign coming in for you. If this is love, this could be an air sign coming in for you. I'm feeling Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, but they may try to message you. Try to communicate with you. Get closer to you. The Seven of Wands. And the Six of Cups. Okay. You also have the King of Wands at the bottom. So there may also be a fire sign coming close to you. Something that you don't see coming. Now, this Queen of Swords, they may be making themselves known right away by trying to communicate with you. Trying to get your attention. But... This King of Wands in the background, they're being inconspicuous. They're not ready to let themselves be known. But I feel like you're kind of defensive um, in this situation. This Queen of Swords energy may be someone that you've dealt with before. Uh, you're feeling a little defensive. You're feeling like you had to protect your energies. So I'm feeling like, you know, even though this person sends you a message, I'm, I'm not really feeling that you're going to make any intention on this situation. Um, but I do feel like, Big changes are coming for you. I feel like you're moving forward in the best way, Pisces. Let's get a little bit more clarity because this is this is really interesting. Okay, the Six of Swords. Yeah, I I, I feel like this is someone that you moved on from. And now they're trying to come back into your life. They're trying to communicate something with you. But this is someone that you've moved away from. Yeah. You have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So I feel like whatever this person did. This person um, left you in a lot of sadness. That's the reason why you feel like you have to defend yourself. You had to protect your heart. I feel like this person, you thought things were going to work out with this person. You thought it was going to be your Ten of Cups moment. And it turned out to be the reverse. Now, the Ten of Cups, that could also mean that it just wasn't the right time for this person to come into your life. Maybe they need to do a little bit more work. Maybe they are too immature to be in a situation with you. Or being a swords energy, maybe they their words cut like a knife. So they need to find control. They need to learn to control their tongue before they step back to you. Yeah, you also have the five of wands that wanted to jump out. So... Yes, very interesting, Pisces. I feel like you are, I feel like you're total, totally aware of this person. You're totally aware of the situation. Now, I don't feel like you see 
this king of wands energy coming i feel like this king of wands energy that we saw on the bottom is kind of standing back observing um but i feel like when they do come they're gonna charm you very charming yeah we have the hangman So I feel like I feel like with this person you're kind of going back and forth in the situation. You're soul searching to where you're wondering if you should give this person a chance. This person is coming back. You're wondering if you should give them a chance. You also have the three of cups. So I feel like this could be happening and you could see this person again as some sort of celebration or some sort of gathering. This could also be this person or someone else trying to provide you support of the situation. The Eight of Cups. Okay, yeah, you're wondering if you're going to be walking away from the situation a second time. You're feeling like, hmm. I feel like you are wanting to turn your back on this person. You're wanting to walk away. And you also have the moon, which is your energy, Pisces. So I feel like whatever you do in this situation, I feel like you're going to stand on your own beliefs. You're going to follow your intuition. Uh, Pisces is very intuitive. Um, I feel like you can see a liar coming from a mile away. Okay, Pisces, what do we have? What advice do we have from the universe, please? What advice do we have for Pisces? Excuse me. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender, the outcome is the moment the universe can truly get to work. Okay. Let me say that again. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. I think you need to hear that. Okay, Pisces. I surrender to a power greater than me. Yes, Pisces, unfortunately, there is a power greater than you. Yes, tap into that energy and for whatever it is that you believe. If you believe in God, if you believe in the divine spirits, guides, tap in that energy of the universe and let the spirit take you where you need to go. When I focus on my inner light... I see the world through the lenses of love. Okay, so yeah, I, I feel like you're diving deep. I feel like you're diving deep, Pisces. You're going through these changes. That's this Wheel of Fortune energy as well. And the Strength card. You have the Strength and the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, I feel like these big changes are going to take strength for you. But I feel like you are overcoming them. I feel like you're overcoming anything that you possibly may be going through. At the bottom you have, my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. All right, Pisces. Beautiful message for you, Pisces. Now, if you resonate with this message, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And happy holidays, Pisces. 
many blessings, love and light.